Hello again. Uh, this is my week five uh, update, and it was probably the most eventful one uh, that I've had. I had several days where I had something significant happen, uh, enough to write down anyway what uh, happened. So I'm just going to, I have to really kind of go by my notes uh, because there was a lot going on, and I almost got to kind of remember it. Um, by my notes here, so I apologize, but uh, it, it was just a busy week. Um, so uh, I started on uh, the first significant thing was on the 28th of December. I had this vision of somebody that was giving me like this um, this spoonful of something. I don't I don't know what it was. It was really strange, but it was like this spoonful of thing, and I and I took it eventually. Eventually, I. I think I was just looking at it for a long time, and then I finally assumed that maybe this person wants me to take it, so I did take it, um, if you can call it that, you know. I accepted that and, and tried to, you know, take it, I guess. Um, and then there was a lot of random voices again in that same area and uh but there was really no no definitive communication or anything at that at that time um and i did um decide that i was going to start going down uh the stairs that i had had actually had in a previous uh little experience that i had i think it was about two different times where i had somebody like taking me down some stairs and stuff so I decided to use that visualization and, and I started going down these stairs. Well, I as I went down the stairs, it kind of faded into like this brightly lit corridor and uh, then it just kind of faded out. And uh, that was that was uh, pretty much it for, for that day. Uh, on the 29th, uh, as I was going down the stairs, there was a bunch of like creatures and things that were going up the stairs actually in the reverse direction and so I decided okay well I'm not going to continue to go down the stairs if they're, everybody's going up so I kind of followed them and I would follow them up the stairs um, but then it just kind of faded out and again nothing much happened so just interesting little things that you know you, that I Visualize, but you know, again, nothing real significant, no big communications or anything. Uh, on the thirtieth of December, I had one of, at least to that date, was the most significant thing that I had had happened, where I somehow ended up uh, getting in contact with like this stream of thought. That's the best way I can describe it. It was like a feeling. And as you enter that feeling, you these thoughts started to come in. And I, I wish I would have wrote down all of the different thoughts that were coming to me, but they were very much in line with um, law of attraction type of thoughts uh, that was in this stream of thought. And it was kind of coaching me on, on, on things. And it was talking and teaching me. And so, and I was listening to it. And, and, um, and on many of the things I, you know, I am very familiar with just because I'm very familiar with the law of attraction. Um, so that's probably why I didn't write it down. But it was still very interesting uh, the way it was being brought to me. Uh, and and then, uh, so as a confirmation uh, that I was actually in contact with a, a higher, uh, I don't know, a, a higher thought, uh, there was a, uh, like a UFC fight. I'm, I'm a big UFC fan. And I, I, um, so there was a big UFC fight that was supposed to be happening on, I think it was, a, I think it was the, the, the 30th was that same same night and there's two main fights um and i asked uh you know what it thought 
you know, what the winner was going to be on those fights. It was kind of like my confirmation test. I was just asking, you know, okay, what what is the who are going to win these these fights? Uh, it's kind of a silly question, but it was kind of I was really using it more as a basis for you know, uh, can it predict something correctly? Uh, one of the fights it kind of gave me, I, I kind of would have guessed it on my own. That's probably who I would have thought would have won. Uh, I would, uh, and I'll just I'll just say who I mean it was Lesnar and Overeem, and uh, Diaz and Cerrone. Um, but you know, of course, it was saying, uh, you know, it was telling me that Overeem and uh, Diaz were going to win. Uh, I didn't think that Diaz would win. I, I I actually thought Cerrone was a better fighter and stuff. So I I, I thought that was kind of strange. But it wasn't telling me as at a skill level. That was probably the most interesting thing. As I was asking it, it was telling me, okay, well, this person is going to win. But, you know, and again, I wish I would have, I wish I would have actually re uh, could record it. Um, there probably is a way I could do that. But um, the way it was saying it was so interesting because it was saying it, uh, this person is going to win because um, their beliefs. Is is so much stronger in themselves. This person has doubts or something, so that there's the strong strong belief uh, was going to win out. And it was basically it was more like a belief in oneself. And it never really mentioned anything about skill level. It was all based upon the person's thoughts and feelings and beliefs and and what they were doing. And uh, uh, especially on on the uh, the I can even actually kind of think about it when it was saying that that uh, Lesnar he had gone through some surgery and that sort of thing and it was it was basically saying that you know because of that sort of thing it, it really changed his beliefs in himself and that sort of thing and you know and so that's why his belief was weaker than Overeem's, who, who was much stronger. And then the same thing with like Diaz. Diaz was much stronger in his belief, and, and it was saying something about like Cerrone still didn't have a belief in himself that he could he could be at that top level, I guess. He still had doubts or something. And um, and so that's why Diaz was win, win. And it turned out that those predictions did come out correct. Um, so again, something interesting, and I, I wouldn't say is definitive proof of anything because it, uh, you know, it's like 50-50 chance. So, so I mean, I'm being as real as I can be. Interesting, but again, you'd have to have a lot more of those type of things, you know, as 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 proofs to really definitively say, okay, this is something uh, outside of yourself. But I, I I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty excited about that. It was very interesting, especially the way that it was telling me who was going to to win. It was it was just a very interesting way of, of going about it. It was more of a belief system and and that sort of thing, and, and you know, um, versus actually skill or anything, which really didn't have a whole lot to do with what you know why it was telling me these people were gonna win. Okay, after that day, um, the 31st and the 1st, there really wasn't a whole lot going on. And, uh, and then today, um, I, uh, again, came into contact with, with, again, the best way I can describe it is like this feeling or something. It's, uh, it's kind of strange, but you, you go into this type of feeling. And um, somehow I ended up asking, you know, what what was the purpose of this life? And I did write this down, and it it gave it to me in a feeling, and then I, I just translated a few words out of that feeling. But it, it, the words don't really bring the significance of it. Um, without the feeling. I, I apologize because this is uh, such a... it's not going to come across the way it was brought across to me. But uh, when I said what was the purpose of life, it said, it, to, it said basically to experience, to learn, to grow, to succeed, to fail, to love, to suffer, to, li uh, to live 
as you choose to. And it was basically saying that, I mean, there there is no expectations of you at all. There really is not. You are succeeding just by being here. And it was like this total acceptance feeling, and I felt it for just a, a fraction of a second, uh, this feeling of, of, of great acceptance in myself. And, th and then I had this feeling of, but really, but is that really all you expect of me? And then I, I, I kind of snapped out of it. And um, as I'm saying that right now, I, I'm really disappointed in myself because I didn't just accept the answer. It was, it was, you know, but this, um, God, that sucks. <laughs> so, um, it would have been nice to actually stay in that because it was a, a it was a it's such a great loving accepting feeling that I would have enjoyed just sitting in that feeling anyway um, uh, and just kind of milking that feeling for a while but um, yeah that's pretty much what happened this week so um, pretty interesting uh, and uh, we'll just see um, how things continue there so all right thank you. Uh, for watching and take care.